Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. What is you going to do? Shout out to the squad. Can y'all hear me okay? If y'all can hear me okay, because we got a little different setup, so we're going to try to make it do what it do. If y'all can hear me okay, put your aliens in the chat, and y'all know the drill. We're about to get started in just a moment. Get ready, because you about to be an ATL. That's not being a blogger. More than a blogger. That's your being a blogger. You are more than I am more than That's your being a blogger. All the in my son. I am more than a blogger. It's the blog got it. It's the blog got it. It's the blog got it. The share is here. Yeah, yeah. It's the blog got it. What's up, squad? What's up, squad? We are live. We are live. We are live, child. This is this is going to be a fun live. Yeah. Y'all can eat with us. Y'all can eat dinner with us. Y'all can eat dinner with me and my good friend Josh while I spill some tea on <laughs> cocktail crab legs and claudia <laughs> and open topics but some of the open topics are pretty random but good really good okay we were just here earlier today when we spoke about andy cohen okay we got an update on that which i don't know whether to believe or not but we're going to talk about the update we also have some court documents from Portia and Simon. Simon Guabadia has filed additional court documents. We are, we shall talk about that. Uh, Nelly and Ashanti uh, engaged in confirming a pregnancy. We got a lot to talk about. Jaguar, right versus colorist, Claudia Jordan. Child, whatever we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about. But first, before I get started, let me shout out my squad. Hopefully everyone gets in here safe and sound because we've been around the world and I, yeah, 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 today. Okay. <laughs> I see y'all. Hey, Princess AG. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's hey. up? What's up? Hey, Michelle. What's up, Mark C? Come on in. Come on in the room. Like this video as y'all get in here. You ready? You ready to be an AT alien, human? Hey, hey, Cherish. What's up, Energy? I see y'all. Oh, I love that. I love that name. And look, before I even get into it, y'all know the drill. Go ahead and like this video and please put pink hearts in the chat for Mama Brown. Hopefully Mama Brown is feeling better. She wasn't feeling too good today, but I hope she is in much better spirits, at least better than me, because I've been out here fighting. <laughs> today drained me y'all okay. i have been out here fighting okay um we're eating today <laughs> don't look something a little different don't look something a little different i really don't want to eat but we're gonna eat okay so, y'all i'm greedy she like i'm like yeah what are we eating first crab legs like, you're not even showing them what you're eating they got the camera over here i was just about to go and eat it crab oh. legs Ooh. okay we got Crab legs. We got a little crab boil. Okay. Boil. What else do we have? The crab boil includes uh potatoes, corn on the cob. Mm -hmm. What is that? We got uh what's seafood, seafood egg rolls. Egg rolls. And what is in the seafood egg rolls, you may ask? Shrimp, lobster, and crab. 
Shout out to the seafood egg rolls, okay? Um, I would like to start with a seafood egg roll, please. With you. Okay. I'm I'm hungry. We're gonna wait for some people to get in here while we eat dinner. Okay, eat what's the little want. sauce right there? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm, thank y'all for the pink hearts. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. It is it is amazing. Um, it's a lot going on in these streets, okay. Uh, we got Andy Cohen over here calling all the people, calling to the TMZ to tell the TMZ that um, it's not true. He's claiming that his departure is not true. What y'all saying? He said he's on the way. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Let me know. Mm. Y'all see all that crab in there and yeah. that shrimp in there. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Why somebody said they couldn't hear? Turn your volume up, friend. And that ain't play crab. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 This is all I want right now. Okay. Let me get started real quick before I before I start eating. Mm-hmm. Listen. You use your teeth. Uh -huh. That's how you're supposed to eat them. That's okay. how you're supposed to eat them. Listen. <clears throat> Pass your song. What you want, friend? What you want? It's this seafood shrimp. This this seafood crab, whatever this is. Seafood crab, egg roll. Egg roll. Seafood egg roll with the crab in it and the shrimp and the lobster for me. Baby. This is good. This, this. It was, you saw how, how soon I took it down. Mm -hmm. I ate mine before Michelle even got hers. Mm -hmm. I'm like, babe, I gotta take that down real quick. So let me show you this real quick. Mm-hmm. I had to take a little bite of that real quick first. Let me show you this. I don't know how I'm gonna show you this and eat. We're gonna make it do what it do. Do what it do, baby. Okay. So look. Andy, they called up the TMZ and they told the TMZ that it is not true that he is stepping down. Now, hold on, let me get this up here. Now, I don't know about you. But why would In Touch Weekly report something like that if there was no substance to it? I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, questions surrounding this for me because I know for a fact that Bravo and TMZ have a relationship. I know for a fact that Bravo and People Magazine have a relationship, and I'm sure Andy Cohen, as one of the figureheads of Bravo, has his own personal relationship with these people over here. So I don't know what's true and what's not. What do you think? I'm gonna go with there's some truth and some lie. Hmm. There is noise over there, Bravo. They are trying to figure out how to put up all these fires. Because I have never heard anybody go and dispute a report that was written in the morning and go to another outlet and dispute it in the afternoon. Right. And some people are saying it's on Nightline or Dateline and on TMZ. You say him and Harvey are probably friends. I can see that. However, also, Dateline them have a relationship because every time uh, Housewives has a product, just like you go to Garcelle's uh, from House of the Beverly Hills, mm -hmm. Dateline just published an article about her. So they have a relationship. They have a working relationship. Hmm. So I feel like Us Weekly is some truth to it. I feel like only time will tell. Now, it may not be this month. In Touch Weekly. In Touch Weekly. It may not be this month. It may not be in 45 days. But mm -hmm. some smoke is coming. Because all these lawsuits just cannot go unnoticed. Well... It was what y'all say. He's doing damage control. Sixteen gonna be his last season. Okay, it was silent video and sound. What y'all talking about? He's doing damage control. You think that's what it is? Let's read this article real quick. Let's see what he says. Hopefully y'all can hear me because some people saying it's silent. Some people saying it's not. Um, Andy Cohen is not leaving Bravo despite reports claiming he's negotiating a departure package amidst legal troubles. 
with a network rep blasting the unsubstantiated rumors. Who is the network rep? Is it Andy? Who is it? Who is the spokesperson for Bravo? Because another spokesperson told somebody else he was leaving. Correct. A spokesperson, because at this point, if you're going to deny it, we need names. Right. We need names of the person who's denying it because clearly somebody said something different. A spokesperson for Bravo tells TMZ there's absolutely no truth to the rumor. Andy's negotiating the exit from the network. I feel like if that was, if I feel like when a CEO or president speak out and say, no, that's false rumors that we're keeping Andy, we will have a long term working relationship. That's normal how they go. Yeah. It said they're shutting down any notion as patently false. Or like NBC will make a notice or something like that. You know how, you know. Sources with direct knowledge also tell us a report that cited an anonymous source to run their headline was way off base. And none of the info that got published was accurate. What? The report in question alleged that he was leaving Bravo as a result of the mounting allegations he's been hit with of late in different lawsuits, including claims brought by former Housewives star Brandi Glanville and Leah McSweeney. Hold on. Let me see if it's still over here. I want to see if it's still on him. Let me see if the other report is still up. Yeah. Okay. This in touch. Okay. It's still up. Let me see if they, oh, they say they up update. Let me see if they got an update in here saying that it's not true. Let me see. Here it is right here. Cohen and Bravo have denied the accusations. This couldn't be further from the truth. That's all they put. A publicist for NBC and Bravo denies this story. They didn't take it down. That's saying a lot that they didn't take it down. Mm -hmm. So, Boy, there's smoke that's fire. Mm -hmm. There's like a lot of their stuff was coming out when Fox News was going through all that turmoil and they was like, oh no, nothing's going on and they say, you know, they make an announcement the person is leaving. Mm. You said some play on words. It's not because of he leaving just wait on the right amount. Okay, I think that's what it is. We're going to see. We're going to give it 30, 60, 90 days. I think there's something to it, too. Where there's smoke, there is definitely fire, honey. Now, speaking of smoke and fire, <laughs> did y'all, y'all know I have some court documents, some exclusive court documents. But before I read the court documents, I want to show you this article right here. And I'm sure you may have seen it on uh, Instagram or somewhere. I don't know. But look here. Cha. Portia Williams' estranged husband demands Real Housewives of Atlanta producers turn over unreleased reality show footage. Now, Simon's attorney has filed documents with the court to basically um prevent remember i showed you the cease and desist a while ago and he ceased and desist them from filming at his home and in the court documents he actually notes the address of the house because again he ain't doxing nobody is his house okay he said that um he is demanding that a representative from the production company behind real housewives sit for a deposition on may 20th 2024 now, the court documents, uh, in the court documents, Gobadia is requesting that a rep from True Entertainment appear for a videotaped deposition and also to turn over all unreleased footage for the upcoming season and give him a copy of his ex's contract. Now, all y'all who keep saying that all of this is just smoke and mirrors, it's just for the show, they sitting there laughing at us. I don't know that this is true. What you think, Joshua? You think they, they sitting there home laughing? No, hell no, because now it's costing true entertainment or Bravo legal fees. Ooh. And I think they're probably looking at Porsche. Man, hold on. You don't bring this to us, and we're just thinking we're going to give you a contract based off the relationship we thought you had with this man. Mm. Because it's give, giving a people a different perspective of this wealthy lifestyle that you like you've been living all over Instagram. And now this guy is sending us cease and desist letters, so now you're making us spend money on legal fees. Mm. So I think they're probably a little bit upset with Porsche. I think they're probably having a meeting with her and her attorney, like, okay, now, wait a minute, we're going to have to renegotiate this contract. You think so? 
Yeah, who what company wants to hire a new employee and they already getting letters from an attorney? Well, yeah. you have to expend uh put legal fees. No attorneys, nobody wants to go and deal with it. That's true. It's really giving um there's a situation going on. And of course, I have copies of those legal documents, okay? Um since I have not provided a stamp on them yet, I will, however, read them. <laughs> okay. I will, however, read them for your reading pleasure. Okay. The document is a filed notice of deposition. Here it is right here. It was filed on the 16th, uh, 2024 at 1 23 PM. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, I need to flip the camera. Can y'all see that? Am I backwards or forwards? Let me know in my backwards. Can y'all see that? Uh, anybody in the chat? Anybody in the chat? Let me know. Was that backwards? If it's backwards, I can flip it. Of course, I always have receipts, Tasha Smith, friends. Okay. Uh, you said it's forward. Okay, good. Thank you. I didn't know because it looked backwards to me. <laughs> okay, so notice of videotape deposition of true entertainment llc simon is requesting a videotaped deposition okay in the documents okay addressed to true entertainment llc care of corporate service company which is their registered agent uh they are providing notice that please take notice that respondent simon iore Gobadia. By and through his counsel of record, uh, will take the videotape deposition upon oral examination of a representative of True Entertainment LLC commencing on May 20th, 2024, beginning at 10 a.m. Said deposition shall be conducted by stenograph means, audio means, audio and video means, should the dependent, the despondent, whatever desire to appear by remote electronic means on the aforementioned date and time please contact the undersigned counsel now in the documents which again i have in my possession there are several things that they are looking for during this deposition what are they looking for, girl? simon ain't playing no games okay. exactly okay <clears throat> True Entertainment LLC shall de designate one or more officers, directors. Hold on, y'all know it's tiny. One or more officers, directors, or managing agents, or other persons who consent to testify on its behalf regarding matters known reasonably available to the organization regarding the following. Here is the list that they are looking for. The status of Portia Diane Williams as a cast member for the Real Housewives of Atlanta for the years 2022, 2023, 2024, and 2025. Number two, the details of the financial pay, income, and financial status of Portia Diane Williams for the years 2022, 2023, 2024, and 2025. The communications between True Entertainment or any individual or agent acting on its behalf and Portia Diane Williams or any agent acting on her behalf regarding Portia's return as a cast member to the Real Housewives of Atlanta show from 2022 through present. He also wants communications between True Entertainment LLC. I didn't ask you nothing. <laughs> or any agent um, acting on its behalf and Portia or any agent acting on her behalf regarding any of the following topics. Here we go. Look, Joshua, he offline eating this stuff. I can't even, you gonna be on camera. Anyway, <laughs> Portia's relationship with Simon, okay? They want information regarding Portia's divorce against Simon, if, any communications that are concerning these things. Uh, any communications that are regarding any prenuptial agreement involving Portia and Simon, any communication regarding filming, recording, taping, photography, production of the property located at blah, 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 blah Road, Northeast Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. That's crazy. Wait, there's more. Okay. He also wants storylines, subjects, and or topics involving Portia regarding the Real Housewives of Atlanta television show. Mm. Now he wants a script. Okay. 
He wants everything. Mm. And that's not all. Mm. They also submitted a list. Designation of materials to be produced. Exhibit A, which is pretty much the same thing. But he's asking for any and all contracts, amendments, memos of understanding and agreements regarding and involving portion from 2022 through the present. Right. Checkmate. Number two, he's asking for all financial documents, pay devices, W-2 statements, 1099 tax documents that was issued to Portia, her company, uh, which is or Oriaku LLC. I guess that's her LLC. We, look, we got some tea. Portia got an LLC. Or any entity or agent on behalf of Portia Diane Williams from 2022 through the present. Well, what is that? What her, uh, her bedding? That's the sheets. Mm -mm, that's probably um mm, go naked. The LLC that she you know pays herself through. Oh, okay. Through the, you know instead of being paid as a private individual. Anyway, okay. um, that he's also asking for any and all communication, including text, email, written between True Entertainment and Portia through uh, regarding her return as a cast member from 2022 through the present. He's also asking for any and all communication, including text, and I already read all this, regarding his relationship, regarding their divorce, regarding their prenup, regarding filming and taping in the property, uh, and regarding any storylines and or topics regarding Portia. Now, he also puts in here copies of any and all photographs, videos, recordings tapings footage or filming of the property located at 4544 since february 22nd which is the day that she filed for divorce now i told y'all before that they had not been filming for the show but that doesn't negate the fact that they may have filmed b-roll they may have filmed you know how they filmed the outside of the house for the show and things like that so he wants everything he don't want her filming inside the house outside the house or the house period so yeah so they gotta sit for a deposition she gave up her job for simon well we'll see what her response here mm -hmm. my question is they probably you know how they do uh they they'll say simon um was called uh they uh, do a news flash of simon was a fraud and all that and then shows Porsche out like she find out on the internet and uh film her leaving the house to go file for divorce that's probably why he want to stop that you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? How they would like kind of cut that out and edit it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to put in my contribution with my crab legs. Can you talk about that? Each? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. I just feel like he was like, okay, you're not going to make me part of your storyline. So I want every single footage that you ever film around my house and before this relationship because he feel like it's a part of the plan. When she signed that contract and found she was coming back, he said, now nah, I don't need you no more. I'm out. And so that's what he wanted to know. He wanted to know is this part of storyline? Did she text the producers months before and say, Look, I'm gonna sign a contract. I'm about to leave Simon. So go ahead and let me know because this is gonna be some interesting. I guess he wanna know what the storyline is. Yeah, I mean that's fair, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, remember Portia uh publicly accused Simon of fleeing the country. <laughs> Simon said, Hey. Not so fast, and he's been trolling y'all ever since. Right. So he is having an, a wonderful time being being fleed, <laughs> being fleed around the country. But he also did this post today that had everybody kicking and laughing with his bright smile at the airport in immigration, mind you. You see that immigration or something behind them somewhere over there. Simon said he is back, honey. He is back in Atlanta, Georgia. He said fleeing is tedious, and I need a break to catch my breath. I know that's right. Mm. But I want to know, is him and Portia over there fighting right now? Because mm -mm. she in that man's house. How would you feel if somebody done left you, but they refused to leave the house? And then all his Rolls Royces there. You know he had to go back. Listen, that's his house, too. You know he went home. I wonder what happened. We need to go see what's on Portia page. I wonder what's on Porsche page. Hold on, let me go see. What's Porsche name? Porsche? Every guy she ever been with, she hate she hate to leave the house, don't she? I don't know. She be a more love with the house than the man. Child, Porsche said all she wants is God, stability, and peace. 
that's that's that what she said. That's all she wants is God and stability and peace, honey. Uh-uh, look at Peter. <laughs> Peter's so shady. Talk about is that what you want, Portia? God, please grant Portia what she wants. <laughs> Why is Peter so shady? OMG. Peter is shady. Peter, is this. Peter said she need Jesus. She need God. Please give it to her. And uh, what else she got going on? Oh, she over there doing content. Anyway, moving on. Yep, she doing content in the house. I just want to know this time and get back. What happened? Let me look at her, her stories. Still selling sheets. Okay, let me go look at Simon's stories. Let me go look at Simon's stories. Okay, he got his doctorate. We saw that already. Okay. Well, Simon said he is tired. He is tired. He is back. He is done being fleeing for now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you read Josh's expression. Say it all, girl. This is the best show ever. Child, I'm done eating for now. Right. I guess I, I guess I'll be the, I'll be one. the responsible one while he eat. I'm just gonna talk, child. Well, I'm talking too. I really want another egg roll, but you want your one? I gotta clean my hands and get it to you. Mm. I'm knee deep in crab legs. Hand me the box. I'm getting a napkin. Just help, just put your greasy fingers on the box. It's a box. Thank you. Oh, God. I'm gonna slip through my fingers. Oh, I gotta put it on this tray. I want to know. Look, if I was Simon, every time she get ready to film something in the house, I'd be in the background. <laughs> Maybe she wouldn't be able to post it. I'll be right over there. You said they're going to get back together again. So what? Well, I mean, I hope they do. Y'all go ahead and eat and we vibing. Okay. I'll be trying to get through these topics, child. What's our next topic? Our next topic is, you know, I'm saving the best for last. Okay. Damn. I'm really jumping in now. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. About color and quality. Mm-hmm. Child. Okay. Color is Claudia. AKA Claudia Jordan has put her Karen hat on. <laughs> and she is back to being a Karen and calling the police on black people. Uh -uh, not calling the police? Mm -hmm. No, that's what Karens do. Karens don't want black people to thrive in the same environment that they're thriving. Okay. Karens don't want black people to barbecue. At the same park, they barbecuing at. Mm -mm. Karen's don't want you to sell lemonade in your lemonade stand on the corner, but they little white girl can sell lemonade in their lemonade stand. Karen's like color is quality. Don't want bloggers to blog when she blog. All she do is blog. All she do is report inaccurate information. Why are you laughing? That's what we are inaccurate information. All she does, sit over there on flop zone and just regurgitate whatever somebody get her to read or whatever's on her head. You know, I know for a fact that Kanye is crazy. I know for a fact that Diddy did this. I know for a fact. <laughs> Speaking of which, we're going to pull receipts because she know for a fact stuff be happening. So this is what blogger Claudia had to say about, um, who was it, Chad? Who am I want to talk about, Chad? Jaguar oh, right. oh, Jaguar Wright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jaguar Wright. <laughs> now, okay, can you explain me who Jaguar Wright is? So Jaguar Wright is a singer songstress. Her, she got her start, like, you know, singing with the roots and stuff. Like, I even bought her album back in the day. I don't think she had but one. Because mm -hmm. they said she kind of crazy and hard to deal with back then. Mm -hmm. And she was even featured on, on uh, Jay-Z's um song cry when jay-z did the live what it was the MZ, mtv it? live thing unplugged. i forgot what unplugged yeah she was like the back what well, not a background singer but she was like the feature singer for him mm -hmm. like when they do an npr now yeah mm -hmm. so 
Yeah, so that's, you know, how a lot of people know her, but she kind of like fell off or got blackballed or whatever, because they say she kind of bipolar. That's what they say. I don't know for sure. I don't know nothing about the lady, but her, you're right, Brownstone. Her voice is amazing. Okay. And so, um, yeah, that's how people know. Hold on. Let me go back. So that's who Jaguar Wright is. Okay. Now, recently, um, in the past couple of years or so, she has made a name for herself by going on podcasts and blogs and pretty much, you know, speaking on the industry. Now, I'm not negating anything that Jaguar Bright has said, okay? Being somewhat on the outskirts of the industry myself, a lot of what Jaguar Wright has said publicly, a lot of us, people on the street, people in the industry, people around the industry, have heard those same stories. Okay. Okay. So having heard a lot of those same stories, Jaguar, I think, is a very good orator. She's a very, you know how some people are good storytellers. Correct. Sometimes I feel like I am. Sometimes I feel like I'm not. I don't know. But Jaguar is a great storyteller. Like, she's very convincing. And the things that she says, even though she may not have been there, she may not have seen it with her own eyes. She may not even know the people. She speaks it like it's true. And her proximity to the industry, i.e., remember, she was singing with Jay-Z. She was mm -hmm. singing with The Roots and all this stuff gives her a little bit more credibility than the average lay person. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right, I'm just saying. It does. It gives her a little bit. Okay. So, hold on. Let me go to one of these windows right here. So, here is what colorist Claudia the Karen. Somebody is texting the hell out of me. Here is colorist Claudia the Karen and what she had to say about this Diddy situation. Y'all know we had a picture of Claudia the other day sitting on Diddy's lap or sitting near his lap or sitting in very close proximity to Diddy. I'm going to show it to you again in just a second. But before I show you that picture, we're going to listen to this. I got to put my disclaimer up. Copyright mm -hmm. disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act. What allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research? What are we doing? Researching. We are definitely doing that. Now, before I do that, I want to do this. Hold on. I'm going to take this down. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take that down, take that down, take that down. Close that. Josh, you and these crab legs is killing me. I'm wearing it out. Uh -huh, you was wearing them out, honey. I wish I was wearing them out. Hold on. You are jealous. I am jealous, friend. <clears throat> I want to eat too. Friend. <laughs> you doing the bang and I'm doing the muck. I want to eat too. Okay, hold on. Here is um what I would like to show you. Recently, what the blogger colorist Claudia had to say about Jaguar, right? Okay, so here it is. Colorist Claudia is coming through with a few conspiracy theories about Diddy, according to the Jasmine brand. The flop soul host seems to suggest that those who may have something negative to say about Diddy end up unalived or seriously hurt. She even claimed that singer Al B. Short may have been a victim of Diddy. Now, this is the blogger Claudia spreading the same stories that everybody else has been spreading, like she's spilling the gospel. We're going to listen to it. Hold on. Oh, Junkie Dineva ain't there no more, but I don't have a picture of a horse to replace it. Hold on. Al B. Short and Diddy are the only ones that are alive from that record company, right? The only ones that are alive. Allegedly, Heavy D was working on a book about his life, dead. And, and this is all on the internet. You, I, I think Jaguar talks about this. Mm -hmm. um, Andre Harrell supposedly was going to tell about his life, dead. I'll be sure supposedly was working on this before and then went into a coma. I remember this. I'll be sure is a friend of mine. We used to work out together in LA. I know him. Right before this coma, y'all. Look, you hear her interject. I know him. I know this for a fact. I know this is true. Hold on. We listening. He was training for those celebrity boxing matches and then falls into this coma and he almost died. Like they said when they opened up his insides and did the surgery, it was liquefied. So when Girl, things like this happen in your life. 
Did she just say somebody's insides was liquefied? Not liquefied. I'm done. Is that possible? No. Is that possible? No. How can your insides be liquefied? Can y'all tell me? Put in the Not chat, the doctor. Don't turn it to water. Doctors in the chat. How is he walking around if, if his organs was liquefied? Now she got to cut that out. Anyway, just okay, let's finish. Will you be a little bit more tight lipped about things? Could that be a reason why maybe you didn't act the way we would normally think someone should act? I also think, in my opinion, because when Kim Porter, when she passed, she had nothing negative. Before she died, she had nothing negative to say about Abby Shore's parenting. How do you know? What Kim Porter had to say about LB Shook. The man was not even in his son's life. Quincy wrote a whole letter talking about how LB Shook was an absentee father. You don't need how she know what Kim Porter. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying about these bloggers misspelling, miss I mean misspelling. <laughs> these bloggers spreading misinformation. Do you not see this? You said that liquid was blood. Okay. <laughs> His whole insides was liquefied, honey. Hold on. We're going to finish. Skills. You never heard her say that he was not a good dad. Never. I believe he was pushed out by Diddy. I believe Diddy wooed Quincy. I believe Diddy offered the fun stuff. You know, you see he takes his kids drinking. Let me say this. Let me make myself big. I believe colorist Claudia is full of shit. <laughs> I believe colorist Claudia is a liar. <laughs> I believe colorist Claudia was one of Diddy's little sex workers. I believe colorist Claudia got kicked to the curb from Diddy because she wasn't putting out quick enough as, as Cassie and all that. I believe, like, do you see how crazy that sounds? I believe, this is what I believe, okay? Hold on, I'm going to finish. Because I'm shaded like this. Hold on. I believe. And mm -hmm. hanging out and partying. What young, good looking uh, kid is not going to want to go along with that? Like, I just believe he was wooed away from his real dad with, with things. And I think Albie Shore finally feels comfortable. This is my opinion, y'all. This is my opinion. I think he feels comfortable speaking on it now. I do believe that there were suspicious things around Albie Shore going into a coma. I do believe that. And Albie Shore is not a thirsty guy. He's not. He's never been. He could have released a book when Kim passed. He could have done. Y'all not hear this? She she got the whole story. She got the whole story. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Colorist Claudia is a colorist. I believe Colorist Claudia is a mean girl. I believe Colorist Claudia is a Karen. I believe Colorist Claudia don't like dark skinned black women. That's what I believe. Done this a long time. He could have done a lot of stuff that he did not do. So I don't know, but I, I don't, I don't think he's a cloud chaser. I don't, I really don't. I want y'all to just think about something real quick. Ali Shore and Diddy are the only. Anyway, but she also um, said during that little diatribe, and I probably skipped it, that Jaguar Wright was one of the ones who brought, brought that to everyone's attention. Claudia Jordan gave credence to what Jaguar Wright said because it was industry gossip. Industry gossip, okay? Now, some industry gossip is now going around from Jaguar Wright. What kind of gossip? About colorist Claudia. <clears throat> hold on, let me find it. I wonder what the, uh, hold on. Let me go to my. Oh. This is what she has said. I'm going to show you. I got to pull it down because I don't want to go to her page and pull it. Shout out to my friend, Val B, who sent it to me. I appreciate you so much. Hold on. I'm going to put the video in here. Downloads. Did the video come up? Size. Um, kind. Date added. I think it's it right here. That's not it. Uh, hold on. I'm just going to go to her page. Hold on. I'm just going to go to her page. Hold on. Hold on. Just going to go to her page. Okay. 
Now listen to this. Let me refresh it. They have to sit there and have that conversation like they didn't know who did it. Think of the power of that moment. Think about Claudia Jordan right now. What? Claudia Jordan don't ever mention my mother name. She mentioned it yesterday. What? Did Claudia do I mention Talking it? Talking about why people are afraid to come forward. You mean like you? Woo! Wait. What? Wait. What? Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Jaguar Wright said, you mean like you? You say people are afraid to come forward about all this stuff going on with Diddy and Jay-Z and everybody. And you say you're the one? You was Diddy girl. Whoop. Corey was Jay Z girl. Why don't you claim your friend? Whoop. Claudia. So, uh, Claudia. Wait. Talking about Kathy White. Oh, yeah. That's what I was about to ask. Uh, Jay Z's pregnant mistress yeah. who died of an imaginary fucking aneurysm. Just like the woman who was best friends with Kim and Kimura, who wrote the Ooh. and yet Ooh. now all of a sudden, mm. color is Claudia wants y'all to forget that she was hanging out with Diddy. Hell no! So now she hating on. Now she's saying it up. Uh, Jaguar right crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, so if you agree with her, she's good. Mm -hmm. And then once you don't, you're a stalker, you're crazy, you hate her, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Got it. <clears throat> now, let me go back and read this long ass thing she wrote. Because here's what I know about Colorist Claudia. When she's in proximity to A listers, she's fine. Mm -hmm. When said A lister is in a country mercy, she's not fine. She wants to separate herself. So she's all for the clout, the popularity, the pomp and circumstance, which is the proxim proximity to a lister since she'll never be one. Mm -hmm. But all these years, people have been saying that Colorist Claudia was dating Diddy, okay? For years. When I say years, I mean years. I mean going back to 2011. I don't know. And so... Hold on, where is the picture of Clarice Claudia? <clears throat> and she was probably flattered then. Of course she was flattered. Hold on, Claudia Jordan Diddy. Y'all remember, I Googled this the other day. The picture comes right up. Oh. Mm -hmm. The picture comes right up. I know you lie. Yeah, I had put it as my screenshot. I mean, as the, um, what you call it recently? Hold on, where is it? There it is. Right you know, there. somebody said they had a list of all the people she been with. Oh, I got the list. <laughs> Let me get my damn wine. I know you lie. I got the list. <clears throat> I got the list. There's pics of them in Vegas. I know. Don't, don't worry, Lulu. I got all those pictures too. Of them in Vegas after the Floyd Mayweather fight when Jay-Z and Diddy hosted a party together. And guess who was there? Colorist Claudia and her bestie Corey, aka Kathy White. Now, so Josh, Josh want me to be messy and pull up. Uh, no, no, hold on. I need a drink for this. Josh want me. You hold on. They just, she was with the girl that died. That was her friend. It's it's a lot of pictures of them. I got to have me a drink. Mm -hmm. I got to have me a drink for that one. Wow. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. Not St. Claudia. That, that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me get my cocktail because this don't stress me. I want some crab legs and cocktail. Lord. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, put me some too, because I need a drink. Because this is a mess. She done sat there and be doing all of that stuff and did it this and did it that. And he, he done stole the boy child and this thing. We didn't read her long ass response yet. I'm going to get there. Oh. But before I do that, I want to present all these receipts because, you know, I'm a blogger. I'm a blogger. I live on receipts. Oh, oh. No. Hold on. <laughs> this is Claudia. This is Claudia, and that's Kathy White in the middle. 
Mm -hmm. um, this is Claudia, and that's Kathy White in the middle. Hold on. Claudia, hold on. Mm -hmm. I think I already showed that one, but Claudia. Mm-hmm. Mm, this one. Mm, this one right here. Y'all may can't see it. Let me let me send it to my house. I'm about to blow this one up. <clears throat> now wait a minute. Now you hold it. Hold on. I gotta blow that one up. Wait a minute. Actually, I need how to blow it up. I'm just gonna go to the to Getty Images. Mm-hmm. In the archive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Claudia didn't know her. But according to Word on the Street, her and Claudia were really good friends. They were both struggling, trying to come up in the industry. And by come up, I mean sleeping around and stuff, allegedly. I believe. Okay, what's your theory? I believe Claudia was jealous, so jealous of this girl. That she may have, you know, uh, decided to put a hit on. I don't know. That's what I believe. You see how stupid that sounds? Like Claudia went on her channel and told y'all what she believed. It was a scheme. I believe. But wait, I'm not even. I'm not even finished. It was like stories online that says that Claudia used to talk about the girl so bad. It said the girl's house was junky, so her, you know, her coochie stank. This stuff that Claudia says, and this sounds just like something Claudia would say. Talk about the girl house nasty. You know her coochie stank. But Claudia was allegedly jealous because Corey, a.k.a. Kathy White, was getting all of these expensive gifts from all these ballers she was dating. Mm. Shoes, purses, clothes. And where on the street is that Corey, a.k.a. Kathy White, even bought Claudia an expensive uh, designer bag, Louis Vuitton or something, for her birthday, even though Claudia was going by, behind her back saying all this negative stuff, nasty <clears throat> stuff about her. Hollywood Street King told you, okay? Oh, don't even get me started about Hollywood Street King over there got colorist Claudia sex tape, child. Uh -uh. Allegedly. Uh -uh. Shout out to Jackie Jasper. Cheers, friend. I'm in shock. Now, you don't drop some knowledge today. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm, I was supposed to pull up the picture. I'm pulling up the pictures. Hold on, let me go to the pictures. Hold on. Oh, my God. That is crazy. Hold on. Y'all know I have access to everything. So let's go back in time. There is a rumor. This is on the blogs, on Lipstick Alley, everywhere. They said that Claudia was dating uh, Diddy while her friend Kathy White was dating Jay-Z. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. The rumor is also that Claudia was spotted with Diddy and Jay-Z and, and Kathy White in Vegas after the Floyd Mayweather fight. That's the rumor. That's the Roma. Now, like this video, y'all. Like this video, please. Now, okay, so let's go back in time to when that Vegas fight occurred, okay? And let's go back in time because we know whenever there's a fight, there's an after party. And we know that now. We know that to be true. Okay. Okay. So Jay-Z hosted an after party uh, with Diddy. Look at this. Look at all the good, good, juicy pictures. We in the archives, honey. Jay-Z hosting the fight with Sean Diddy Combs. Okay? There go Jay-Z popping bottles. There go Diddy throwing it up. There go Diddy. Now, this picture right here is the picture that everybody want to see. Hold on. Let me see if I can make it big. Hold on. Let me make it big. Okay. Let me. Can I make it bigger? I can't make it bigger. I'm not. If y'all can see that, I wish I had a little little marker. <laughs> I'm into it now. Okay, I wait. am into it. I'm gonna I'm I'm make the picture big. Hold on, because you know I gotta take it out and make it big. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, baby. Wow, Michelle. What? Josh, were you even born? You wouldn't even let me stop. <laughs> this Hold is on. crazy. What's crazy about it? 
Does she sit on and put on all of this airs and bullshit and she be so wrapped up in the shit because really she was like an industry groupie? Because what was she doing at a party that type? That was at her leave. Was it? Everybody go to the party? No, some people shouldn't be that close. Now, before I show you this, I'm going to show you the other picture. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all know I'd be slow. I'm slow. I got to get that one and I got to get the other one. What the other one? I got to get that one. And I need, I think, is it this one? And as thick as this one. Yeah, it's that one. I need that one too. Let me get that one. Put that over there. Okay. Then I'm going to put it up here. So is I that towel in Vegas? Yes. I oh, know you lying. No, I'm not lying. So I'm going to show this one first. And then I'm going to show that one. Okay. So hold on. He said, put your lighters up. You know, them, them industry for parties be fun. Okay, is this the first one? I don't know if this is the first one or the second one. We, I think that's the... Okay, we're going to look at this one. Okay, look at this one. We're going to zoom in. You know, I like looking at I like looking at high-def pictures. We zoom in. Okay. There go Diddy. You see Diddy right there on the mic? There go Jay-Z. You see Jay-Z? I see Jay-Z. <clears throat> Hold on. Let's scroll over. Oh, that look like color is Claudia and her widow's peak right there. And look, there go this. You see this girl in the pink? Uh huh. They say that's Kathy White holding the bottle of Ace of Spades. You know, that's Jay Z was drinking that. You see, uh -huh. Jay Z got some in his his hand. In his hand so right. she got the whole bottle. Okay. Because that's his alleged side chick back then, allegedly. But there go Claudia in very close proximity to everybody. Okay. That that they say they saw them together at the bar and everything. Wait. Wait, 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 we ain't finished. Like, I know that's that's the back everybody look alike. Okay, hold on. I got some more. Is that the right one? Let me see this way. Okay, we're gonna zoom in for another one. Hold on, we're gonna zoom in again. I know you lying. We're gonna zoom in again. Hold on, we're gonna zoom in again. Oh, hold on, there go Kathy White with the bottle of ace of spades. There go colorist Claudia throwing it up. There she go. There go Jay Z right there. That's his bodyguard. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there go Jay Z drinking. Okay. Andre Harrell. Andre Harrell. Everybody there with the Ace of Spades. And there go Diddy. There go Diddy. Okay. Now I don't know if they was together. I don't know if you know. I'm just telling you what the industry rumor mill has been saying. Okay. I they was together. The rumor mill on the street that you could Google all day long said Claudia and Jay Z and Diddy and and Kathy White was uh, spotted out gambling and dancing and having them a good old time that weekend. That's what the rumor mill say. But you know, we you, listen. I'm I, <laughs> you know I'm shady now. In addition to uh, you know, colorist Claudia being at the club with Diddy, I'm gonna show you who else was there. And y'all can make y'all all, and she looks so unhappy. Mm. Oh, no. She looks so unhappy. Oh, my God. Hold on. She was there, child. She looks so unhappy. And so when I say, when, you know, we was talking about, I believe Claudia may be a little sex worker. I believe that Claudia may be a sex worker. Y'all remember I said that? Hold on. I'm tell you who else was at, there at the club that night. There go Diddy, right? There go Diddy on the mic. Okay, wait. Let's let's make it look. Look who down there looking sad, looking like she just ready to go. At she a party. was, you she was at, at the party. party, ready to go. She cold. She don't want to be there. She did it and made her shave the left side of her head. Okay, did it and made her participate in freak offs allegedly, according to her in her legal documents. She was right there, but she wasn't spotted hanging out with Diddy that weekend. Colorist Claudia was. So I'm like, if Cassie was participating in freak offs, allegedly, according to her, then this is like a high end version of the Stevie J and Jocelyn with Mimi. That's the Molly the May. That was Molly the May with Claudia. So wow. I show all of that. I show all of that. Okay. To go back to colorist Claudia's response to Jaguar right. Wright play saying, right here, "Play, play what her response yeah. or oh, the read her response? Did she write something? She writes. She okay, let's something. read it. Hold on, let me find. 
His color is Claudia's response. More lies. When will you people learn? Now there go a Karen term. What you black people. person calls you, you people? There she is separating her whiteness from y'all black people. When will you Negroes learn? I have never been with. That's a lie because we see you with them. I have never been with, never dated, never slept with, never made out with, never been in any kind of intimate relationship or situationship with Diddy, Sean Combs, Sean Connery, or any other Sean. I met him at the 2009 BET Awards at rehearsal because I was a presenter and he performed that year. I merely took two playful photos with him backstage sitting on a couch, not his lap, and took my behind right out of there to the after parties with my bestie Alta. I posted the photos on my MySpace page along with all the other celebs I took pics with and woke up the next day to dozens of angry messages from him because he was mad someone snatched pics from my MySpace album and sent them to media takeout and he blamed me. Of course he blamed you. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't read this before I started because y'all know I love me a good receipt. Y'all know I love me a good receipt. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. I got to go here. I got to find it. Oh, here it is right here. Hold on. So they was accusing her of sending something to media takeout when... What? This was in 2015, though. Why is it uh, earlier you was accused of sending things to, to media takeout? Now, all of a sudden, you was working with media takeout? Not you was lying. working with Fred Mahonga Wonga Wonga? <laughs> How is it? How did he get your phone number, Claudia? How, how, how? He blamed her for a casual meeting? Listen, you know damn well that colorist Claudia sent them pictures out because she wanted to be connected to Diddy, period. Wanted to be connected. Now, before I finish reading that long-ass essay, before I finish reading that long-ass essay, I want to go to what you had asked me to pull up before. Now, Claudia said she's going to sue everybody, but we're going to read that essay in a minute. But before she sue everybody, I want her to sue the entire internet. I want her to sue the entire internet because the entire internet got this on it. This is why Nene Leak said, yo, clit has left the building. This whole list of actors and actors and singers and dancers and background singers and NBA players and NFL players are allegedly on Claudia's long list of paramours. Okay. I'm just saying well, this, just this, this is, is on the internet. This ain't talking about the execs and stuff. I like didn't that. make this up. <laughs> I didn't have nothing to do with it. It's all over the internet. In fact, it's on Atlanta Daily World. Hold on. It was on Atlanta Daily World. Claudia's long list. Hold on. Claudia's long list of ex-lovers and boyfriends hold on we're gonna we're gonna read the list too but i just want you to show you it's not me i this was in 2015 this was almost 10 years ago and now she's talking about suing and now she's talking about suing when they got the long list already on the internet and it's been on for 10 years it was not a problem until diddy got caught up in some controversy she's sending her pictures of diddy out in the club, innocently taking a picture with with him, allegedly according to her, she said the media takeout because she wanted to be linked to this this mogul, this billionaire. Now all of a sudden, ten years later, she's like, "Oh no, no, it's not me. It's a lie. Why y'all lying? That's not what had happened." Hold on, I'm gonna finish reading this diatribe, honey. <sighs> I didn't even know what media takeout was, aka Fred. He knows. 
58 text messages later after a heated exchange where I did not back down, it was a done deal and squashed and he never texted me and I never texted him ever again. How did he get your phone number if you allegedly just met him in passing? Okay. How did he, like, why was you at the club with J, with Jay-Z and Diddy if you allegedly met him in passing? I'm just reading, listen, this is just the history. And I just hate when people are hypocritical and go online and spew negativity about everybody else. And as soon as they tea get spilled, all of a sudden, ah, you're lying on me. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call my attorney. Anyway, I'm finishing what she read. But, you know, I'm giving her opportunity because, again, this is her words that she's saying. So how the fuck was I ever his girl? I saw him another time in Vegas at Tau as part of a huge group of celebs that was all at the same party feet away. But we didn't speak. And, of course, I've been to a couple of his parties where we didn't even speak as hundreds of people were there, and I left early. You know, they say everybody parted with Diddy, honey. Everybody parted with Diddy, but Claudia leaves early. Yeah, what she say? That she said she left early. And she ain't been to not one party, or uh, two parties. <laughs> she said, I've been to several parties. And she's alleged that she ain't even speak to him at the party. So I'm going to go to your party and not even speak. Get the hell out of here. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia. I was with you, girl. I had your back. I was on your team. And start that is the rumor that Kathy White was uh, Jay-Z's mistress, that she was found deceased under mysterious circumstances, um, that uh, people are saying that she had an aneurysm, and a lot of people, industry people, are saying that that was a lie. Uh, they were also saying that she was pregnant and it could have possibly been Jay-Z's baby. And people are, it's a conspiracy out there that says that Jay-Z uh, unalived her because, you know, he was married with Beyonce. And just, I think it was just three days after her death, Beyonce announced her pregnancy on um, the VMA stage. So with this Becky with the good hair, this ain't Becky with the good this hair. This ain't Becky with the good hair. But people are saying, you know, he allegedly cheated. We know Jay-Z cheated because Beyonce got a whole album, you know, dedicated to, you know, him cheating and her getting over it and them mending their relationship and them getting back together. So we know he cheated. We just don't know if that's the one she was speaking about. But, okay, let me continue. <sighs> so uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Lord, where did it go? No. I can't find it. I'm trying to read it. Oh, there it is right there. Um, she said they ain't speak. Okay, whatever. She's lying. Okay. And she said she left early. Now she's saying, Jaguar, right? You can't just say whatever you think so adamantly and loudly, loudly with no facts behind it. But did she just say she thought that Albie Shaw was the victim of um a, 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 a scheme to, to unalive him? Did she say she thought that Al B. Shul's insides was liquefied? Did she, she did. say that? She did. But Jaguar Wright can't think. <laughs> Only colorist Claudia can do so. And it's crazy that she um she um capitalizes. You can't say whatever you think so adamantly and loudly with no facts behind it. Your quote information on me is 100% incorrect. I don't know why I'm constantly thrown in every damn scandal and y'all have yet to provide not one piece of real evidence. Y'all can't possibly keep taking photos from award shows and parties where everyone is there and accessible and make these meaningless pictures a thing and into a whole conspiracy theory. Y'all heard it here first. It's all cap and I'm tired of it. Jaguar, check your inbox. I hate that I have to keep defending myself and correcting y'all's lies, but yet here we we are and I've had enough of this. I'm not sure if this qualifies as defamation, but it should definitely qualifies as a bold face lie. Hashtag fake news. Hashtag alternative facts. Hashtag all cap. Chris Brown the lawyer. Yeah, if you don't Chris Brown the lawyer on somewhere. <laughs> if you don't Chris Brown the lawyer on somewhere. 
So colorist Claudia the Karen is uh, apparently upset because people are regurgitating um, stories that have been around for 50 years. Okay, she's threatening to sue people and bloggers in particular over stories that have been around for 50 years. And yet she goes on her platform and regurgitates stories that have been around for 50 years. But nobody else can do it. Claudia thinks she got that power that Cardi B got that she did a Tasha K girl. You ain't got that kind of coin. It don't matter if she do. It don't matter if she do. Because people can sue you for anything. It don't matter. You can be telling the truth and somebody can sue you. People do it every day. I got sued by Chris Stokes. I was telling the truth. So that is so funny to me. That was the key. Tub Joyner was a big scandal. Uh, Michael Jai White was a big scandal. Um, um, scandal. Michael Jai White was still married and he was with Claudia. Okay, Tom Joyner was still married, but she was on every no, cruise. No, she didn't sleep with Tom. Oh, Listen, shit. they said she was with Tom Joyner for years. That Damn. was the rumor mill. That was the rumor mill. Hold on, let's look at the list. Hold uh, on. Uh, I know she fuck on. Um. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. My mama won't let Let's cruise. go to the list. I can't find it. Hold on. We're going back to the list, honey. You so crazy. Hold on. Let me go to the list. Um, uh, mm, mm, mm. hold on. Is this it? Okay, that's it. Okay, Trey Songs, Carrie Rhodes, Dwight Freeney, Sean Billups, Darren Chopper, Kevin Hart, Shamar Moore, Boris Kojo, Datari Turner, Diddy, Chico DeBarge, <laughs> Michael Jai White. Actor married, <laughs> Tyrese singer married, genuine singer married, Nelly rapper, Maurice Green track star, Jamie Fox actor, Curtis Martin fabulous, Donald Trump oh, mogul Donald Trump. married, <laughs> Makai Pfeiffer Joe, Suge Knight, Liza Alonzo Shaq. Gino Car Carlisle, Lamar Odom, Quincy. Child, they got Diddy Thief. <laughs> Listen, I don't make the news. I don't make the list. I just blog about it. He said, how was she holding out suitcases with Meg Markle, but only one of them ended up with a prince? Y'all have took me out of here today. Ooh. Oops, I kicked myself out the studio. Ooh. What? Ooh, tickle me. <laughs> what the hell? They miss a time draw. <laughs> Not damn time. I need some more. Not time draw. <laughs> <laughs> Not time draw. <laughs> <laughs> but then you wonder why is Claudia always in proximity to like side chicks if she ain't one? You know what I'm saying? But she's always the victim. <laughs> she's friends with, uh, uh, what was the other one? Gary Owens. His wife said Claudia was the friend with the side chick. Gail Lewis, who went viral on TikTok, the Sabrina girl. Claudia Jordan hanging out with her right now. They probably out right now. Um, uh, the Corey White, the Corey, Kathy White. Claudia was right there next to her, but Claudia don't know her, okay? No. Oh, God. Sure. <laughs> Now she was a good cow. <laughs> and, and left her arm. Now she has she has uh taken down the um oh she has taken she has closed the comment section because everybody oh what is it? Why did I screen oh I probably screenshot to use that as a thumbnail. But now she is uh she has closed the comment section under that Jaguar right post. And here is why. People were dragging her in the comment section, basically saying, okay, you doing all that. You doing all that. But what is your uh, commentary about Kathy White? Why is it that you can sit down on your platform and say all that? But we ain't heard you say nothing about Kathy White. Uh, 
Uh, hold on, six fifty. Hold on, I had screenshot this yesterday at six fifty. Do I have any more? This six forty eight. This six fifty one. Okay. Oh, here it is, right here. Oh, okay. So I have two screenshots of the comment section that she deleted. Because we love receipts. We really love receipts. Why are you laughing? I'm still stuck on unk. <laughs> Not unk, honey. Hold on. That's the wrong one. I don't want to show this one yet. Hold on. Mm. Share screen. Uh, where you go? Mm -hmm. Might be that one. That's the wrong. I keep showing y'all the wrong one. Stop screen. Press it. Share screen. Mm. I'll show you this one. That's the same thing. Okay, she responded to a comment, but we're going to read that in a second. But I wanted to show you what the people were saying about her um, in the comments. And the same one keep coming up. Stop, present, share. Go here. Screenshot. 651. I need this one. 659. I need... 650. I need 650. Hold on. I need 650. Present, share screen. 650. How can I tell you what's 650? I can't tell. You. Is this 650? Hold on, y'all. 650 look like. Okay, she pointed her finger on 650. Okay, this is 650 right here. So people was in her comment section reading her. Okay. Look, she said, look, look at goddess right here said, but you're making this more about Diddy and less about Kathy White who ended up unalived. And there are several pictures from different nights of y'all together. Coincidentally, you claim to not have been close friends with her, but that seems odd. You have so much smoke for a particular successful black woman and who she married, but never the same energy for these men, a.k.a. Jay-Z, mostly out of fear. But I'm sure. But be fair, girl. So so she also um, look, somebody else said. You sit on your show with your bro sisters and gossip about people every day, <laughs> most times with no facts now crying that it's happening to you. Shy, these people was reading her, so she had to turn off her comment section. Now, let me go to this one right here. Well, she responded to somebody. I guess this is why she cut off her comment section, which is interesting. Why cut off the comments? Well, we got it. We got it right here. Here she says, um, somebody asked her about it. Um, Shy, I can never wait, 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 wait. 651. Okay, somebody asked her, um, and, and I, the comment that I read you, and she responded and says, and I have said it so many times, she never told me she was messing with Jay, never told me she was pregnant, and never told me she was anyone's mistress, and I never even seen them looking like anything was going on. The story was started by one blog many years ago that has posted so many lies and y'all ran with it like it's the gospel. It's bananas. Can you explain to me why Claudia's always the victim? She did the same thing to me. She said that I was lying on her about being a colorist. Michelle always lied. She's a blogger. She's always lying. So why is everybody always lying on Claudia? Where the truth at? Claudia ain't got shit else to say to me. She left with unk, and I never forgive you for that. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> what? She used to be on every time join the cruise, child. She was right there next to him, child. Every time join the cruise. <laughs> When you get a chance to listen to Beyonce's song, daughter, they took the name Kathy out of the song, but the facts remain. Ooh. I'm just letting y'all know, honey. Just one blog been talking about her, but it's all on the internet. Don't make me pull up no more receipts because I can, but I really don't. 
feel like it. I just thought I would say that because I just don't like uh, her like threatening other bloggers, me, you, whoever, you know, uh, uh, to like prevent them from spreading the truth. When you go on flop so and spread whatever you feel the truth is, despite it being, you know, fraudulent information, like even with the listen, I'm listen, I'm team Simon. Y'all already know that. But even with the Simon situation, she goes over there and call the man a scammer, call him this, call him that without no factual basis, like just like anybody else. So if if she can have her opinion on that, why we can't have that that opinion on her? Nene said it. Your clip has left the building. Did you send Nene a legal letter? That you was a Hollywood pass around? Did you send like what is what the, what the hell? They said that Floyd Mayweather was with Clawfoot. So that's what the people say. Okay, the the receipts make a man. They do. They do. They do. Anywho, you said all that lip smacking child. I was eating. I still my mouth still tastes like uh crab legs. <clears throat> anyway, is there anybody else we need to talk about? Oh, that was good. <laughs> but you, what you think, Josh? I want to know. What do you I think? I think that is so fun. I told her I'd never forget her what she did. What she do? She fucked my aunt. I never forget her. <laughs> no, forget any other thing she ever did. I never forget you for that. And you heard it here first. <laughs> but how she gonna give Jaguar right credit? And then and discredit it, her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen, when I like what you say, I agree with you. And then we, I don't like what you say. Then you're a liar. That's that's the kind of story she gives. <sighs> and last but not least, okay, enough of Claudia. I'm tired of her. Anyway, um, let's talk about Kenya more. Okay. <laughs> let's talk. We took two trips to Kenya more hair care. Three. Three. Well, three counting the first one. Okay, that was weeks ago or whatever. So we've taken two this week, pretty much this over the past week, right? So according to Kenya Moore, her salon is open. Her salon is taking um taking uh appointments. Uh she even posted some uh people getting services. Hold on, let me go to Kenya Moore, honey. Let me go to Kenya. She even posted, you know, people getting services. She paying for people to get the services, honey. Oh, I don't need to see. Oh, that's old. Hold on. Let me see what's up here. Okay, she said it right here. Hold on. This is in her stories. <laughs> Shout out to Kenya Moore Hair Care. Okay, Kenya Moore Hair Care. Okay, here it is right here. Kenya Moore Hair Spa. Welcome to Ultimate Rejuvenation and Bespoke Pampering. They offer head spa, head spa with blowout, head spa with silk press. Hold on, I missed it. Hold on, let me put it on pause. Uh, protein treatment, express blowout, silk press, takedown service, scalp analysis, and trims. We service all hair types, okay? They got a 10% new customer discount. They got the a phone number, the same phone number that was on that website when that I went, that the website mysteriously disappeared, okay? It was 855-955. Well, there it is down there. Y'all call it and get you an appointment. Now, for some reason, why we why we can't find nobody to go to Kenya Moore Health Spa? We ain't seen nobody. We seen Brittany. We seen Caitlin, her assistant, pouring wine. We see Caitlin over there taking a the girl hair. Now, Caitlin don't even do hair. Caitlin say she a model. Caitlin say she's a celebrity assistant. But Caitlin over there uh, using the machines, okay? This is a content creation space because we've seen Kenya Moore outside. Kenya Moore said, now open, okay? Open, mind, body, online, book, okay? They say it was open. Here she is right here saying, you know, right here when she was like showing everybody. Fabulous. She said she gone with the wind, fabulous. She, she went to her content creation space and made some content to tell y'all she is back. Okay, look, she, remember this right here? She said they was open six weeks. I'm Kenya Moore. Of course I have my own luxury hair spa. I'm Kenya Moore. Of course I get served the wine and the tea at my hair spa. Thank you, Gordon. Y'all hear that echo? Yeah. I'm Kenya Moore, founder and CEO of Kenya Moore Hair Care. Of course, I sell my own merchandise in my hair spa. Of course. I'm Kenya.
tell you more. Of course I'm doing a new photo shoot for my hair care line. I'm Kenya Moore, and of course, this is my legacy for my daughter, Brooklyn. Okay. Y'all may not know this. <laughs> Y'all may not know this. Some of you, most, some of you were in the live with me, but um, did I save? I think I saved it. Um, hold on. Uh, that one I didn't say to members only. That one is actually still live. Okay. So we went to Kenya Moore Hair Care a couple of days ago, two days ago. Okay. And I'm going to show you what had happened two days ago. Josh talked me into going. We went. We drove up there. Had us a good old time. Hold on. There it is right there. We're going to start right there. Okay. I'm just going to show y'all this because, you know, Team 12 said I'd be lying. <clears throat> They said that I am not truthful, okay? The Google website that said that they're open on, let me see, hold on. Let me go to Google site just to make sure. Google, can you more, oh, what am I doing? Can you more hair spot? Okay. It says that the hours of operation they didn't change it too. They didn't got. They didn't change it now. Now they only open three days a week. Damn, they closed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> they have changed, y'all. They have changed the website. Said, I'm gonna fix you. She said, "I'm gonna fix you." Hold on. I hope I screenshot it, y'all. They have changed the website. Hold on. I know I screenshot it, Lord, because I screenshot everything. Let's see. Yo. Okay. Let me say. Send that one to myself. Let me go up here. Yo. I don't know if I saved it. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. I don't know if I saved it. Let me see if it's on here. Child, they didn't change the website, y'all. Since this morning. Because we went this morning. Remember when I had y'all look at the website? Remember? Now all of a sudden they close every day. Hold on. <clears throat> now all of a sudden they are open. Let me see what it say now. Now it says they are open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 10 to 6. And they are closed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But on the day that I went, oh, I'm going to find it, Lord. I'm going to find it. Hold on, because I know I screenshot it. Hold on. One moment, please. One moment, please. Y'all ain't going to ain't gonna mess with me. Not today. <clears throat> Y'all know I am the, I, listen, I go into my archives, child. I can find me, a, even if I didn't save it, I know I saved it somewhere. Hold on. One momento. One, one momento. Mm -hmm. This oh. is a mess. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on. One momento. One momento. Hold on. Look. You know. Wait a minute. I'm going to find it. Hold on. Wait. Okay, this the one. <clears throat> this the screenshot. Hold on. Screenshot. Screenshot. Send it to myself. Hold on. We work with receipts around here, honey. I'm going to show you what it said today, and I'm going to show you what it said this week. Okay, google.com. Let me go here. Let me go here. Let me go to Kenya Moore Hair Spa. Kenya Moore Hair Spa. Bam. Let me show you here. I'm going to present it. I'm going to show you what's on Google right now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here. Right here. Bam. You see this? This is what's on Google right now. 
10 to 6, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, close, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I wonder why I don't say when it was last updated. Last time it said when it was last updated. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to show you the receipts. Well, the day's still Thursday and they won't open. But wait, we ain't got that far yet. Hold on. I'm going to show you the receipts of the other day when I went. Mm -hmm. This is the receipts from the other day. And it says it was updated by this business a week ago. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, open. Sunday, Monday, close. Open Tuesday, 10 to 6. Y'all see that? I know today is Thursday, but wait, wait, wait. They're supposed to be open on Thursdays, but they weren't open on Thursdays. But I'm going back to Tuesday because that's the first day I went. But now since I went on Tuesday and they was closed, now they have updated their Google to say that they're closed on Tuesday. But but on Tuesday, it said that they was open from 10 to 6. Y'all not see this? 10 to 6. Now, hold on. This is Tuesday. I'm going to show you what happened Tuesday. Y'all know we are all about receipts, okay? All about receipts. Here we are. Josh was driving. And it's not my house, and my name ain't on shit. And also, Hold on. I'm very careful we how I'm having a conversation about like, first shot. I don't want you in my life, and I don't want you to be all that shit So at the end of the day, I, I didn't live my life as a law abiding citizen for all these years, and now all of a sudden, you're going to bring up something that happened when you were six years old? If that's her reasoning, because again, she just now started saying that recently when he put out that uh, uh uh you know that she had like just left and left blind you know blindside him so i think there's something more i think there's another man involved here we go this was tuesday at four o'clock 4 30. <laughs> Uh, another day another listen i could walk up and tug on the door again but it wouldn't matter would it they still not open is that security right there they're gonna lock me up if i go to the door what time is it five o'clock let me walk up here with my with my cracks on <laughs> Somebody said, where the damn hair dryers? <laughs> Just another day in the air. Oh, No white people. C L O S E D. It said the hours are 10 to 6, Tuesday through Saturday. What's today's date? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. It is 4 45 p.m. Guess they didn't have no appointments. They were booked all day and they were tired, so they left early. Yeah, I guess they left early. I don't know. Y'all see, it's live. So where is 10 12? Call me a liar. I ain't. I didn't even want to be on camera this time. I just walked up the shoulder. Um, now try out China white food. That's your sister. Oh, okay. Maybe she doesn't have all the licenses. 
she waiting for the grand, 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 grand open. <laughs> Kenya's business is booming. All the books are open wide as the table. No hairstylist at work. Listen, I'm just doing my research. That's all we doing. I'm gonna come down once a week. I'm like inspector. <laughs> fire marshal. I'm like the fire marshal. I'm gonna come by about once a week. I'm gonna pop up unannounced and I'm just gonna see if business is being conducted. I'm just saying. I might have wanted something done. I might need a facial or something. I don't know. Don't get mad at me because Kenya Moore Hair Care is not in business unless there's cameras rolling. Drive down the porch and see if my car will be about to scan. I'm sorry, I was mute. Today is Thursday, okay? They say on the, on the Googles and on the website, they say on Thursdays, they are open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I went by there today. I went by there today around three-ish, okay? I can't remember what time it is. I think it was around three. It was definitely before four because I was at the dealership around four, so. Hold on. I think it was around like two something. This is what had happened today. Can your team is listening? If if the team is listening, they need to be there when I get there. If the team is listening, they need to be there when I get there. They need to pull up. If Kenya's team is listening, I need me a brush. Let's see. Y'all think they're gonna be open? If you think they're gonna be open, put press one. There you go, Kenya. There. Where Kenya at, child? She just walked my customer out and telling her. Oh, good day. that's Kenya right there. She said, "Have a good day." Oh, what'd she say? I'm having a good day. I don't oh, see her. Right, said, "Man, he's next to the neighbor." Say, Let's see. Hold on. Oh shit, girl. What time is it? You wanna go see this time? You gotta go to the door. You gotta show the people the inside. You ain't nobody there. All right. Yeah, you gotta put. Yeah, you gotta show the people the inside. Since I'm in the driver's side today, ain't nobody in there. Baby, nobody's here. It's okay though. God, I pray she have all the business in the world, but ain't nobody here. It's okay. Ain't ain't nobody here, y'all. But it's okay. She gonna get some business. She gonna come. She gonna get some business. How you doing? Are they ever open? You don't? Huh? You don't know? Okay. I asked her neighbor. He said he liked you or something. He said he don't know. What she? What he was yelling for? I asked him, "Do are they ever open?" He said he don't know. He never seen. What he said, "I don't know. Nothing." He don't know. Well, where was it? What was he doing? He working the nail salon next door. Oh, he worked there. Yeah, that's why I said, do he, does he, now they ever open? He said he don't know. So what, he just came outside to say that? Smoke a cigarette. Oh. Yeah, I saw smoke a cigarette. The neighbor said that they don't never be there. The neighbor at the nail salon next door said they don't never be there. Well, look at that one. They go to the hairdresser that running to the door. Ask her. Know. Ask her. Excuse yeah. me. Oh, they ain't one of her staff. I thought her staff was running towards the goal. No. Not the staff. Oh. I want to see somebody who lives here. 
Ask them. Yeah, she's open, open up, though. She's open. You I think they know? I believe in her. You believe? Yeah, she's open up. <clears throat> she's waiting for the weather to break. Maybe they'll open one day. Well, she's waiting for the weather to break. I believe in her. She's going to do good. Hey. The nail shop next door said that they, what he said, they never opened. They we got to rewind this video because y'all probably heard it. We got to enhance the audio. <laughs> We got to enhance the audio and see what the man said. Because I heard him, but I just didn't hear him clearly. Oh, Jesus. We praying for her. Yeah. She's selling all these dreams to all these black women that need to get their hair done. You know how many people get their hair done daily? I bet you I can go to the J spot right now and it's open. Oh, you know it's open. I bet you I could go to Derek J's shop right now and it's open. You heard him, C. Patterson. I bet you. Betcha, betcha. <sighs> well, now I'm going to take this bus back and get my car. Ciao. <sighs> then people was trying to read me in the chat, talk about you invested. At this point, yes, I'm invested. She had an appointment set. She thought she was going to get her hair done. She was about to be a paying customer. That was three weeks ago when I made the appointment. Then I went back just to see, and it was closed. Then I went back today, and it was closed. And like... If she was open, I swear to God, we would buy some of her product. Even if we don't get her, all jokes aside, even if she didn't get her hair done, we would buy some of her product. All jokes aside. <laughs> and all the housewives would say, man, she hasn't spent money with them. And then people like like Team Twirl got the nerve to say, oh, can you, she's stalking. Can you, can you got a gun? Can you, like, how am I stalking? Have you ever stalked a business? Like, if you want to buy something or you want, you know, to go to, to Home Goods or whatever, and you, you know they open at 9 and you go at 9 and they don't open, then the next day you go at 10 and they not open. Is that stalking? No. How can you stalk a store? How do you stop a, a, a public storefront? How, explain that to me. I want to know. You said open for Bravo cameras only. Clearly. Listen. Mm -hmm. That's funny as hell. I just want to know why she lying. A hairdresser with no, a hair salon with no hairdressers. With no hairdressers, no stylists, no patrons, no nothing. Okay. Anyway. Is that all? Anything else I got to talk about? Oh, what else was it? I don't know. Everybody keep talking about T.D. Jake's step down. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about that. Mm -mm. I pray she's open and there one day. I do too. I do too. I feel like that would be epic if she's open. She don't even have to be there. If the doors is open, I promise you, I will buy me some Kenya Moore hairspray or whatever it is she sells something he can you i would buy some like i'm literally trying to 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 support her business and she's never there not review you want to review it <laughs> Oh Lord, you—that's gonna have to be a separate. <laughs> that's gonna be a whole other hour. Ooh, child! That is gonna be a whole another hour. But it is funny over there now. You want to review it real quick? It's a part of your show. Let me know what you think. It's your show, honey. Put a one in the chat if you want to review. Now this was one that put that put that comment back up there for people to think you just came up with it. Okay. Because people going to say you just made, did this on purpose. The Put a one in the chat if you think Aaron's comment, review Mr. Manhand's renovation. If you want to review Mr. Manhand's renovation, put a five in the chat if you do not. Is he renovating the house? I guess so, child. Shit, we don't know. Will he buy a house? Let's Google it. See what Google says. I ain't looking at no Google for him. Remember, we did see the house, remember, because Dre showed us the house. Remember? Oh. We saw the house on Zillow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person said five. Everybody else saying one, child. So what's the Okay, what was the you say? Five if they want to do it or one if they don't? One if they want to do it. Five if they don't. They said no leprechauns. One, let's be messy. Okay. All right, Lord. <laughs> <sighs>
This time to start a whole nother war, y'all. <laughs> what war? I ain't in I ain't battling nobody. I can see that motherfucker right <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Hey, bitch. <laughs> Voice gonna get deeper. Please let me make sure I'm sitting beside you and not behind that you. So they, they don't be like, and the one sitting behind the... Oh, this one. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Is this, this one? Oh, hold on. Let me see oh, I need a shot. I need a shot. I need a shot. Y'all. Y'all. Go get some vodka. Put a, put a shot of vodka in the um. Oh my god! In the thing. This is a mess. Hold on, I'm just gonna review these these two little clips. I'm just gonna review these two little clips. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna review these two little clips. Hold on. Wait. Wait a minute. That's too much. Hold on. Oh, that's too much too. Oh, oh that's too much. Hold on. I don't know what if. Hold on. I guess I gotta go to YouTube. You know he gonna flag my channel if I do this. Baby, it's about to be a mess. <sighs> But don't be putting stuff online if you don't want people to talk about it. Hold on, let me see. I gotta find something. I can't find it. Day 53 of renovations. Day 47 of renovations. Which one y'all want me to look at? Which one? That one too long. Which one? Ain't no little clip. That one is three minutes. Yeah, let's do that then. The this one, one is 59 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me go here. Okay. Y'all so petty. Y'all are so petty. <clears throat> Hold on. Y'all know the drill. Copyright disclaimer on Section 107, the Copyright Act. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. I'm about to research some shit. Lord, I'm about to research some shit. All right. Patreon. Well, Patreon. Huh? <laughs> People have checked out Patreon. Patreon. We can go on Patreon next. We're going to look at it a little bit. So apparently, that's the entrance. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the video. Apparently, this the entrance, and then he got bathroom tile on the floor. Wait, <laughs> he got bathroom tile on the floor. Okay, on the whole bottom level, he has taken up some of the hardwood. It's hardwood over there, though. How is hardwood over there? But then it's bathroom tile on the rest of the floor. Wait a minute, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, he got a mural, got a red, black, and white. Okay, he played fullback for the Falcons. <laughs> he, he's a Falcons player now, okay? Red and black, black and red, everything. Look at the floor. Look at, uh, wait, okay, so that is, okay, that's hardwood, but I'm looking at these floors right here. Can we pull up something? Let me go to my, <clears throat> I love y'all. Y'all know I do. This is why I always have receipts, too, because my friends always have receipts for me. You see this right here in the bathroom? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Not bathroom tile down the whole first floor, hunty. Not you bought your tile off of TikTok, hunty. Hold on. Where is it? It's right here. Let me put it right here. Not you bought your towel off of the TikTok. Hold on. The before at the TikTok towels. Hold on. Y'all know I got receipts for days. That's all I do is, is look at receipts, honey. We here go to TikTok. Not the oh whole God, we want towel it. on the whole What we actually floor. picked. 
the TikTok towels, honey. The bathroom towels over the whole first floor of your residence. Okay, I ain't mad. If you like it, I love what it. What we actually picked. If you want TikTok towels down on your floor, then you can get TikTok towels on your floor. It's your house. I am nothing but an observer. Okay, yes, TikTok made it, honey. The TikTok towels. Look at that. The TikTok towels is down on the whole bottom level of the house. Whew, but, you know, hold on, let's see. That little thing up there red, the door black, honey. Oh, the door is black, honey. <laughs> the door is black. The door is black, honey. I must be tipsy. <laughs> the door is black. Me, you know, black and white floors. Look at the oh, floor. the black and white floors. The TikTok the towels over the whole yes, first Yes, stairs, floor, honey. The mural that you, the wallpaper mural. Oh, stairs, honey. then I had worked on my library. The red, black, everywhere. Red, black, red, black, red, black. Atlanta Falcons. King David Shout came over to and Falcons. took it from that yellow sky. Oh, look at that. The Falcons is playing. Look at that. I love me a good Falcons. Watch. Now we back to the stairs, black and white. Girl. Oh, child, look at that. The TikTok tiles is TikToking. <laughs> I'm beyond tipsy. Listen, y'all told me to do this. You said it's Timu Tiles. Okay, well, I don't I know. know Timu. I don't. <laughs> you like the front door? The door is nice. The door is nice. Actually, the house is nice. But what you did to the house ain't nice to me. I ain't even mad at the trans decor. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, everybody had their own personal style, okay? It's not my style. Just like Colorist Claudia House was not my style. This is not my style. I'm basic, okay? I'm just a little basic chick, okay? Listen, I had... uh, Look. Look at the... What is that? Is that... What is that? Why they got the black like that? The line of error also, you don't miss the dining room table. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you line it off like that? Girl, Why would you line it off like that? That's like, ooh. that's like a crime scene. Ooh. Put the tape down. Like, why would you, what ooh, is that girl. black line doing? Ooh, girl. Uh-uh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> ooh. Wait. Let me see the rest. It's the Falcons. Rise up. <laughs> Uh, got this. What? Why are we both so stuck? <laughs> what? Uh -uh. What? 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 I ain't even mad. Uh -uh. I ain't. Uh -uh. You like the Falcons? I love it. Listen, I got me a whole bunch of Falcons jerseys in my closet. You I, know that fireplace I am a Falcons fan. You I am ATL through and through. You want the, the, the fireplace to remind me of? What is that lining down at the bottom? The seats in your Jeep. And why they and why they look? You see the circles? Like it I need stuff to up. be. Yeah, ain't nothing lined up. You just put some lines in there and then the circles I have. You know what I'm saying? Just like how you could tell a fake Louis Vuitton, like the <laughs> LVs don't match up. Like why is the Timu tiles or the TikTok tiles not lined up with the Lord? I don't know what these black lines are. Can somebody tell me? It's leading you to the fireplace, Michelle. Oh, it's leading you to the you. Yeah. What you about to do? Put your put yourself on fire? What you mean no, leading it's, yourself it's, to the fireplace? It's just showing you where it is. It's the focal point. It looks very manly. <clears throat> oh, what not the tick? Ain't nothing wrong with the TikTok floor tiles, but no, I'm not putting no damn TikTok tiles in my damn house. But they care. put the TikTok tiles. They go in the bathroom. <laughs> The TikTok tiles are for the bathroom, not for the whole first floor. <laughs> In my humble opinion. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is my opinion. What? Girl, the little figurines, what is the little figurines? <laughs> That's, ooh, yes, home goods. Come, ooh, uh -huh. wait, what is this uh -huh. couch? Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. oh, uh -huh. oh. Uh -huh. 
Oh, I'm oh. I gotta go. What is it? <laughs> black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Where is Wiz Khalifa? Black and yellow, black and yellow, black. It looks like a funeral home. Not a funeral home. Uh, oh, y'all are stupid. Ooh. I don't know if it was do it yourself or do Look, somebody just say they bought a million dollar house. They need to get 500000 back. They are owed a refund. And then they put some more money on top of the million dollar house that they bought and made it a Steelers slash Falcons house. This is a man cave. Oh, God. Oh, hold on. What else? Oh, God. What is these sofas? Oh, they look hard. <laughs> What kind of sofas are these? You know that place. Look I'm... at them little legs. You know damn well that nigga can't. <laughs> them little legs gonna be in. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Look at them little legs on the. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to fat shame nobody. But you know, us girls of a particular size cannot be sitting on them damn little bitty ass, them little bitty ass broomstick ass legs. But and they look them little metal ass legs. You know them damn legs is gonna bend. <laughs> what are you laughing? <sighs> Stop. Okay. Not the black crime scene tape on the floor. Y'all told me to do this, okay? Y'all told me to do this, okay? I ain't even mad at Mr. Manhands because y'all know I say home ownership is the key to wealth. But what is this? Okay, the wall ain't that bad, but this black and white and red. It's just giving me, it's just giving me Falcons tailgating. It's just giving me. Wow. <sighs> Let's see some nice. Fire. He might Make as well. Nice. He might as well kitchen. frame a Mike Vick jersey and put it over the fireplace. You know they say they say the kitchen is the uh, where the money is. You have to get the kitchen. Y'all oh, want to see the kitchen? Child, we don't get there. Hold on, let's get. Ooh, wait, we I, still wait. Okay, so that go. What is this? Oh yeah, damn! I killed Shannon. Uh, hell, uh, that's the foot. Look, that go that damn. Look at the towel. All the way down the thing. <sighs> In the bathroom, it made me want to pee right now. I gotta go pee. Hold on, let's. Oh Lord, look at the. Oh, they did it again. That's the fireplace. But they did that same trim in the dining room, and I was. <laughs> but what is you trimming? What is you trimming? Whoever did this to my good sister, I'ma fuck your ass up. It made my damn interior designer look like he knew what he was doing and he was fucked up. I'm going to fuck whoever did that up. I'm going to sue him for Maddie. Oh, Lord. I feel so bad for him. <clears throat> oh, Maddie, I'm sorry. That happened. But, I mean, that's his house. I mean, he like it. I love it. Listen, I'm I, sorry. I don't like it. I don't like it. It ain't, it ain't my place to like it. Watch you get mad. Shit, that, that girl don't like my house. They were talking about my house. Oh, before they say anything, I bought my first house at 20 so 23, 24. So before they say, oh, damn, oh, no houses. We both had houses. So calm M down. Many houses. Okay. Several houses. Okay. Woo. Look at that furniture. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. They go to the kitchen right there. Okay, they painted a color. I think I got it after they painted it. So those are the colors of his kitchen, yellow and black. Excuse me? Yeah, the, the kitchen is yellow and black. Huh? The kitchen is yellow and black. Oh. The, the kitchen is yellow and black. And the other part of the house is black and red. Yellow, black, black, red. Yellow, red, <clears throat> black. Yeah. You don't like that? Uh -uh. I'm trying to find. Hold on. I think we had another thing. QT movie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh. Stop it, Josh. I'm trying. Stop it. Don't do it. No. <clears throat> okay, we'll look at the kids. Apparently, 
that's before the kitchen was painted. Then that's black and white and whatever. Black, white. Okay. Oh. You like that wallpaper? Oh. Oh. Okay, let's go to another one. We're going to see the kitchen. <clears throat> this is all y'all's fault. This is all y'all fault. It is all <laughs> y'all's fault. It's y'all, it really is y'all. Because nobody even think about this. Yeah, I think it is like a mustard color. Oh, what's mustard? I guess that yellow color is supposed to be like a mustard color. I'm done. Hold on, I gotta go back to the thing <clears throat> and see. Hold on. I am done. Y'all have just outdone me today. Not outdone you. I am done. Uh-uh, we got to see the kitchen now. Hold on. We got to go see the kitchen, Jeff. Hold on. Oops. We got to go see the kitchen. Present, share. Jeff. Hold on. We got to go see the kitchen. Oh, there it is right now. <sighs> Okay, that's the dining room. <laughs> what is that little bitty rug doing? Why are you laughing? I'm, I'm, I really want to know that little bitty rug right now. <sighs> okay, you ain't got no answers. Okay. Like wait, rug. wait, the kitchen. Hold on, the kitchen is oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, turn around. I need to see the kitchen. Turn around. I need to see. Hold on. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 what is going on? Black and red in the front and yellow and black in the back. <laughs> black and red in the front and yellow and black in the back. Hold on. I am living in tears. What is that furniture? Ooh, what is this? Okay, blonde hardwood well, floor. What's the them the same, them the, them the same floors with that junk that I need a dog shit on at my... <laughs> Well, my thing is, what's the thing? The tile in one part and the hardwood floor, like it's not. Maybe they ain't got done with the house yet, so we gonna see the done. I'm, we gonna judge the done product. But it was all one color at first, and he's been oh, putting all these different colors in there. Shit. So these are his colors. <clears throat> oh no! Mm. Oh no! Hold on, let's look some up. Oh, oh, he said, "Oh, what he say?" He was like, "I'm gonna paint that black." Blah, 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 blah. Sound like you stole that from me, but anyway. Okay. Oh, what is this? What is pink and blue? Is this the trans flag? Is this the trans flag? Hold on. Look at that dirty ass carpet. Is this? Wait. Is this the trans flag, y'all? I don't think they have a flag. I thought they had a flag. It's pink and blue. And what is this? What is? <clears throat> Is this the nursery? I'm trying to figure out. I don't know what that is. He painted that pink and blue. And then he got some kind of wallpaper on the side. Um, um very, 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 very Marie Antoinette ish. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me see what else. Okay, pink, blue. What is this? Ooh, that's funny as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -mm. <laughs> it ain't 
ain't even nothing else to say. I don't even know why y'all told me to look at this. Why y'all sent me to look at this? <coughs> why <laughs> why y'all tell me to look at this? I don't understand why y'all told me to look at this. That is crazy. What the hell? Done, honey. Because it's, it's, if it looks like a twin nursery, it's going to be one of the grandest nurseries that you've ever seen in your life. Well, on that note, wait. <sighs> Lord Jesus. Oh, he don't cover the trim on. Oh, why you put the trim down if you're going to cover it up? Hold on, what's that? Y'all. It's a tight road. <sighs> I need. Mean, I don't have no words. A twenty-something-year-old man could have did better than that. Not the zebra print and the red and the black. Oh, so. <clears throat> I'm stunned. I don't even know what to say. Eclectic, okay. Listen, if he likes it, I love it. If he likes it, I love it. That's all I got to say. Josh, you got any final words <coughs> for Baby, this house? I have nothing to say. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. And, oh, look. He didn't put some furniture in the other room. Hold on. The red and black room. Oh, okay. What kind of cat? Oh, oh, oh! You I'm like gonna, that? I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm done. We done. <clears throat> we done. It ain't even nothing else to say. You know, the yellow kitchen. It ain't even nothing to say. Y'all like it? He like it? He's proud of it? He's showing y'all off his renovations? More power to him. But we can watch it laugh. We can watch it laugh. That's why I ain't gonna do no no home tour. Y'all ain't gonna laugh at my house. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> On that note, thank y'all for eating with us. Thank y'all for eating with us. I didn't realize it's been two hours. We've been talking shit all this time. Okay. Uh Let's see Claudia's spot. I did a whole review on Claudia's house. I don't want to even go there. Yeah. But rewind this video, okay? Like this video if you are, um, if you have not already. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you to everyone who contributed to the stream. I have been live several times today, okay? So please check out our previous or my previous and Josh previous live yes josh is my roommate honey he live in my basement <clears throat> okay whatever you want to say that's where josh live everybody know josh does not live with me but if you say he live with me that he live with me okay i enjoyed y'all this has been fun okay we had a lot of tea i still have a plate full of crab legs even though josh ate all his honey <laughs> Baby, okay. I'm going to finish the other one tomorrow. All right, y'all. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what y'all think <clears throat> about the topics down below if you're just getting here. And again, rewind. And uh, yeah, talk to y'all later. Josh, you got anything to say to people? Goodbye. Goodbye. Go to sleep. It's late in Atlanta. Good night.